Yeah, everyone really does look up to him. They see the impact that he's had. He literally cares about every single individual player. To see what he's done and how he's turned it into such a positive is hugely inspiring. My name's Lee Jones. I'm the chairman of Sil Hillian's RUFC. Played rugby for the senior team and then latterly taken over as chairman. I was three games from retiring, which is uh, a bit ironic. Came on as a sub in the second half, picked a ball up from the back of a ruck, going for the line, got held up. Momentum just sort of shifted, and I ended up with my back end going over, my fr over the front, with my neck sort of crushed underneath me, which paralyzed me pretty instantly. For the first couple of weeks, you know, post-injury, it was a really traumatic time for everybody. I was very lucky to, to be alive, to be perfectly honest. I was surrounded by some brilliant people, good friends. I couldn't have been in better hands. The day that Lee came back, it was, it was almost written. We'd been drawn against uh, Rugby Lions in the Midlands final. We had no real chance of, of, of beating them. We'd lost by 30 points in the league just a few weeks beforehand. I was convinced by a good friend of mine to come up for that day. It was a big moment for me to be able to come and do it. My best mate sort of wheeled me into the, the changing room and yeah, I ended up giving a team talk, which I didn't know I was going to do. Just told them how, how proud I was of them all, how resilient I thought they were to come back from what had happened and where we were. It was just a very emotional moment. It was incredible, very emotional. And we had no right to compete against Rugby Lions that day and in the closing minutes we scored a try to win the Midlands final. The guys got the cup and it was a great evening, that's all we need to say. He's contributed an unbelievable amount, you know, post his accident he then came back and was elected to be chairman and he has literally dedicated all his time to that position. The club's got this one club ethos where everyone comes together and they all feel a part of the community so it's just He's just done loads. The development of this club and the concept of uniting the community through rugby needs funds. We don't own our premises. We're a not-for-profit organisation. Everything we earn is enough to pay the bills, you know. The competition uh, was aligned to our Moments That Matter campaign and what we really wanted to do was to hear from uh, grassroots rugby initiatives around the country and the difference that they were making in their communities. I thought I'd have a go, you know, just well, I'll pen something down, see how it goes. Lee's story really stood out, and I think what stood out to me was the story around teamwork and, and around one person overcoming life-changing injuries and using his role to inspire others. The winners of the competition received funding for their rugby club, and, and the idea of that was really so they could make a difference within their communities and, and expand on the work that they were already doing. With the money from Erwin Mitchell, we've got two or three things planned. We've already bought a VO camera. It'll be used by coaches to be able to give feedback to the players and for players to remember the moments that they've made on the pitch. Plus the guys just love looking at themselves on YouTube. Then we're going to put a portion of money towards a coach to develop a girls setup. So the grant's going to help us go into schools so they understand that rugby's available to them, they can have a taster session, they can get the bug for it um, and then draw them back here to the club. Once they're through the front door we don't have any problems, we actually don't lose girls. It's just getting them here to come and try it. And then lastly we're looking long term. There's a lot of plans for the, the whole grounds up here that involve all the sections of the club. We're going to look at improving what's known as the bus shelter, which is what we've got now. We want to take this club to the next level, and we think we recognise to do that, we need to improve our facilities. He's able to make things happen. He created the blueprint of where we are to where we want to be, and has really, really driven the club forward to be sort of where we are today in the growth that we've seen.